Does this sound familiar to you? You've just found a new course and you've purchased it. You're super excited and you watch the whole thing. And later you open a text editor and try to write some code on your own, but your brain just goes entirely blank. Where did my knowledge go? Does that sound familiar? If it does, let me tell you that this is very common and you, my friend, have just entered what we call tutorial hell. But fortunately, in this video, I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step strategy that I used when I was learning to code that will help you get out of tutorial hell and learn to code more more effectively and more efficiently. If you don't already know who I am, hey, my name is Ayman. I went from working in a warehouse to transitioning into an $80,000 developer job in under six months of learning with no tech degree or any tech background. Since then, I've interviewed at massive companies like Canva for six figure roles and have helped dozens of career changes transition into tech and earn six figures. So now that you know who I am and how I can actually help you, let's dive straight into the video. So when you watch tutorials, especially when you watch tutorials after tutorials back to back, it makes it extremely difficult to learn how to problem solve and constantly watching tutorials as your only way of learning is going to hold you back from actually learning from your hands on experiences. And let me give you an example to make this easier to understand. Think of a time where you had to learn something in the past, whether it's learning how to swim, learning how to ride a bike, or learning how to kick a football. In those experiences, you cannot just learn by watching someone else do it. You actually have to get your hands dirty and learn by doing it on your own. And it's the exact same way when you are learning how to code. If you're just watching a bunch of tutorials, one after the other, you'll never fully understand that knowledge to the point where you're able to apply it on your own or problem solve with it on your own. And that's why making sure that you're also building things yourself alongside watching these tutorials is the best way to learn. And we call this project based learning. And in this video, I want to give you the exact project based learning strategy that I teach to all of my students and that you can implement right after watching this video that will allow you to learn any programming language or coding language easily. Let's jump straight in. So for any programming language or technology that you want to learn, I want you to use the following learning strategy. Start with a crash course and then build three guided projects and then finish by building a solo project. I call this learning strategy the 3x framework and it's an absolute foolproof learning strategy that I crafted after spending hundreds of hours mashing together the best ideas from different boot camps, mentorships, programs, and it's pretty much the most efficient way to learn any programming language or technology out there. Now let's actually dive into the details of the 3x framework and show you how you can sort of do each step. So the first stage of the 3x framework is to watch a crash course. And the point of this stage is just to give you a broad understanding of all of the basic information that you need to know about what whatever programming language or technology you are trying to learn. Now, just to be clear, by the end of the crash course, you are by no means meant to be fully confident or fully understand the programming language. Just a basic surface level idea of how things kind of work. So for example, let's say you wanted to learn JavaScript. The first thing you would do is go to YouTube, search for a JavaScript crash course and watch any video of your choice. Now, in order to make the most of the crash course, there is a few key guidelines that you need to make sure you are following. And the first is going to be taking notes. So while you're watching the crash course, you want to make sure that you are making notes on all of the key concepts that you are learning. And this is going to be good for you, not only because you can use these notes later when you get stuck, but even just the fact that you are summarizing the concepts that you are learning in your own words is going to allow you to remember them so much better. Now, the second guideline is coding along. So while you're watching a crash course, it is very important that you make sure that you are coding along with the the instructor. Coding along and getting your hands dirty is going to make things stick so much better than just watching a video. Guideline three is do the exercises. So throughout any crash course, there is usually going to be a few exercises that the instructor gives you to go out and complete. And it's very important that you are actually pausing the video and giving these exercises a shot. Because again, getting your hands dirty and actually writing code on your own is going to allow you to learn so much more quickly and so much better. Now, the fourth guideline is re wind the video. So whenever you are stuck or you're struggling to understand something in a crash course, don't feel afraid to just rewind the video and rewatch the explanation. Because remember, the whole point of the crash course is not for you to speed through it as quickly as possible. It's for you to build a basic understanding of the language that you are learning. So don't feel ashamed to move at your own pace. Rewind the video four, five, six, as many times as you need to actually understand what you are learning. Now, if you follow these guidelines, you should be at a very good position at 
the end of the crash course and have a basic understanding of the language or technology that you are learning. Now it's time to learn how to use it practically by building three guided projects. And the point of this stage is to basically just take all of the fundamental concepts that you learned during the crash course and show you how you can use them in the real world to actually build projects. So this stage is very straightforward. Simply find three project tutorials and code along with them one by one. So for example, if we were learning JavaScript, we would go to YouTube, search for JavaScript project tutorials and code along with any three videos of our choice. Now, in order to make sure that you come out of the guided projects with the most amount of learning and the most amount of knowledge, it's very important that you follow these few key guidelines while you're going through the guided projects. And the first of which is coding along. So if it wasn't obvious enough, you have to actually code along with the project tutorials, not just watch them. And again, this is because coding along and getting your hands dirty is going to make the information stick so much better. Now, the second guideline is actually building ahead. So once you gain a little bit of confidence, I recommend that you actually start to try and build ahead of the project tutorial that you're watching. Now, in the first guided project, you probably won't be confident enough to do this because you're still trying to get a hang of how everything works. But by the second, or the third, you should be starting to feel a little more confident writing code on your own. And it's at this point that you can start pausing the video, coding ahead and referring back to the project tutorial whenever you get stuck. Now, the third guideline is adding your own twists. So if you're feeling ultra confident, you can even add your own twist to the guided projects. So this means building out extra features that weren't a part of the project tutorial, expanding on the project on your own time. Now, with the help of these guidelines, by the end of the guided projects, you should now really understand how the concepts in the crash course are used to build real projects in the real world. Now it's time to put your knowledge to the test with a solo project. Now quickly, before we move on to the final stage of the 3X framework, if you're a career changer who wants to break into tech in the next three to six months guaranteed, that's exactly what I help my students with in my coding bootcamp ASAP Frontend. I've guided dozens of people working in careers like management, finance, customer service, education, transition into six figure careers. If that's something you would be interested in check out the first link in the description but other than that straight back to the video so the final stage of the 3x framework is going to be building a solo project so by this stage you've learned all the basics or the fundamental information of the language or technology you are learning through the crash course and you've learned how those fundamentals can be used in the real world with the guided projects now the final test to make sure you actually understand everything that you learned is building a project on your own so this stage is pretty self-explanatory you're going to throw yourself into the deep end and build out a project on your own without the help of a project tutorial. And this is going to let you know whether you actually understand everything that you've learned so far or you don't. Now you're going to get your solo project idea from ChatGPT using the following prompt. I have just finished learning whatever language or technology you are learning. Give me a solo project idea that would really test my knowledge and captures everything that I would use it for in a real software engineering job. And if you can complete the project, that chat GPT spits out, congrats. You can now confidently say you fully understand whatever technology or language you are learning. And that my friends is the full 3X learning framework that'll help you escape tutorial hell. If you genuinely implement this learning strategy for any language that you wanna learn, I can guarantee you, you'll learn faster and more efficiently than 99% of people who are learning to code. Now, if you wanna learn more about how to learn to code and break into tech, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel. And I highly recommend you watch the video that's about to pop up on the screen now if you want a full course on everything you need to know to land your first coding job from scratch or if you're interested in getting one-on-one -on -one coaching to land your first coding job in the next three to six months guaranteed you can apply to join my coding bootcamp with the first link in the description thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video